Hi guys, this is Martin, aka Martin the Vlogger, and today I have here for you another honest review about the quad lock. So after the first video that was all positive and I super like quad lock and I'm still using it, I have decided that I will buy this motorcycle wireless charging head and after one week of using I have decided that I will tell you why it is completely wrong, uh, how I need to fix it and why I will keep using it. I'll tell you a little bit more about this motorcycle USB charger and why I believe it's wrong, what it's missing and why I will return it. So I will put it on the floor like this. And I will very quickly talk about this phone ring case, why it is wrong, why I will return it and why I have ordered it. Don't worry, it's not a lot of hate, but I think it's a lot of information for you in case you are thinking of buying the wireless charger. It's not the cheapest thing on the market. So think first before buying. If you'd like to find out a little bit more about the beast, in case you like traveling, have a look around my channel. If you are not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and have the notifications on because every time I make a video, you are always notified. And now enough of this, it's super hot here. Let's get started. Now super quickly about this phone ring, why I don't like it or why I have decided to buy it. That's maybe a better thing how to start. Because in my first video, I told you that before the quad lock case, uh, I used to have another case that I was having some kind of small pin or whatever it was here. So I can put my, my phone like this uh, on the table and do the FaceTime or, you know, like this and watch NBA games or Formula One, whatever, while I was traveling, you know. So I was missing something like this on a quad lock and I thought they will come with something that uh, I will be doing, able to buy a new case, new phone case, and I will be able to, you know, just put it there. However, they have come up with something like this. They call it a phone ring stand. Uh, you put it like this. Uh, you put it like this on the phone and your phone should stay on the table. But it is true. It will stay like this. It will not stay like this because I'm using Samsung S9 Plus and simply it will not work. The angle is way too low. What I don't like about this and I know why the quad lock came with this because they can sell something extra. I would be more than happy to buy a new whole new case for $40 in order to have this flickable thing here. This is wrong because long story short, you need to put it on your keys. Always have to have it with you. When you want to put it on a, on a, on a table, you need to put it on the case, have it there. And when you're going on the bike from the restaurant, you need to again, take it off, put it on your key, Put this here, lock your phone, and I'm losing the best thing about the quad lock, the simplicity. So definitely not, not for me. Maybe you have a different opinion, maybe you have different experience, share it with me. Now, let's continue with the wireless charging head. Come here. You know, most of the people don't like only bad comments. So let's start with something positive that is really there and I like it. Absolutely what I like it's that the quad locks again brings some kind of shape and and you know simplicity and the look the beast brp canem spider f3s my motorbike it's everything about the style and performance and this here looks absolutely great i even even like this you know push system that i think it works a little bit better than than this you know uh basic holder so when you put your phone uh, you need to push it a little and lock it. When you remove it, all you need to do, uh, have a look. Eh. You know, this is always with the quad lock. Sometimes it works, sometimes don't. And when you remove it, all you have to do, come here. All you have to do, you just push it like this, flow, turn it and you, you're there. And that's something I absolutely like. And again, the look is right over there. What I also like, and this was really a quick test, this is not a rocket scientist, a quick test how fast it can charge. For me, well, this is the test. So let's do a very quick charging test. We have like 30 kilometers to go. It's 69% battery left. Uh, Spotify is running, Google Maps is running, Bluetooth is on because I have the speakers in my helmet, uh, Wi-Fi is on, tons of apps are, are on. So. So let's see if in 30 minutes uh, it can do 30%. Uh, if not, you will see how many. Uh, if yes, I will tell you how fast it was. So let's go. So that means 14% of charging in 
like 25 minutes. Not bad. So the long story short, for me, what is absolutely important, I can have all the apps on, uh, the phone is charging, not only the keeping the level, but really charging. Uh, I can have my Google Maps on, Spotify on, everything is in there. Actually, because of this, I was able to remove my set nav. So yeah, I'm, I'm lucky, I'm in Europe, I have roaming data around the, all countries, you know, so that's completely fine and I can just use this. So what is wrong with it? The first thing has to do something with the, with the design. Uh, have a look. This is after one week of using. I like it. I like the color, I like the style, I like the finishing. But I don't think it's the luckiest finishing that I can come up with. Because have a look, there is already a scratch. And it's gonna be a lot of scratches there while we'll use it for a month, for two months, for the whole season. I don't mind to have something like this and scratched, but different finishing can be definitely a better solution. However, this is not, again, this is nothing bad. What is really bad and how I can put it, I can put it into a five points actually. So, first point was, my first impression was wrong. I will get to this. Anti-theft solution, blue light or LED light, USB-C cable and connection to the battery. These are the five points. Some of them can be fixed with actually with one solution and some of them don't. Let's start with the first impression and what was wrong. And it has something to do with this cable. Have a look. You see the gap there? Now, Quadlog knows that there is a problem. Quadlog knows that there is a gap between this and this means, and if you have a look here, they tell you that it's water and dust resistant. Well, guess what? With that gap right over there, it's not water, neither dust resistant. And Quadlog knows about this. And they're trying to solve it and it's all fine, completely fine. With new products, it's completely fine that they will come up with some kind of fix afterwards. But Quadlog already knows about this. Quadlog knew about this before they were selling it on, a, on their website. Quadlog knew about it and still knows about it and still didn't say anything to the future customers on their website. And this is something I don't like. It's not honest. And this is what I would never do on my MTV online shop. By the way, I'm promoting my shop right now. Yeah. So, uh, one thing is a positive thing, they're trying to fix it and they will be sending to me some kind of a rubber that I can put it there. The second thing is, it's just they're being not honest and uh, that's something I don't like. Let's, let's continue with the blue light and anti-theft protection because I think that's important. So what's, what's wrong with the blue light? It indicates you, actually, have a look. This is how it looks at night. So it indicates you if the wireless charger is powered on or not. I don't know. Uh, actually, it's completely useless. What, what it, have a look like, like what you see now and try to imagine it's night and then there is a light. So there are two things I absolutely don't like. First, if there is a light on, on my motorbike during the night, it means something is draining my battery. Am I right? Second thing is, when there is a blue light and I'm on an abandoned plate like this or, or you know, uh, somewhere in a city, there is a blue light. Why? I mean, like, if somebody will go around my bike, they will have a look, how beautiful bike it is. They will see the light there. Oh, what's that? Uh, it's plugging in. It, you, know, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, uh, why it has to attract people, you know, to have a look? Because the blue light is nice, and, but it says, like, maybe there is something valuable. Maybe it's, I can take it. Uh, maybe I can use it at home. I don't know. So I'm from Eastern Europe. Uh, we do not ride horses anymore. Yeah, but still we have people around that like to take some things from your from your own properties, you know, so that's that's why I don't like two things why I don't like this right over here now coming to the anti theft protection this thing cost $100 $100 and it's not only $100, actually, this is another point. I don't care about the price tag. You can put whatever price tag on your product, that's all fine. But this one is not only $100 because you need to buy a holder for it. You need to have a case on your phone. So all together, it's like $200. That's a different story, right? Just, just saying. Now, 
why they give me just screw like this so everyone i'm not saying everyone is walking with the screwdriver when he's on the, on his walk but you know why i cannot have something that i feel more secure that somebody will just not simply steal it from me okay so that's the anti theft thing let's let's talk about cable and what is wrong with the usb-c cable um guys have you seen uh garmin have some of you had a garmin set nav uh do you know how they charge the the set navs like they have a plug-in for usb and you can charge your set nav via the usb but the primary thing is there is a special connector that's how the garmin charges their uh, set navs uh, me having connector here that means even if you will come up with whatever solution if you have a naked bike like this and if i'm hit by a really big storm it means that there is a slight chance that the water goes will go in and that's why i think that somebody who was designing this was not real motorbiker because if you are you would come up with a solution that it will have a fixed cable going from here all the way up or all the way down to the battery port now with this usb cable another thing and have a look on this video another thing is i have no idea why first of all the cables are super short going from the battery to the something like a power protector or or whatever it is but why somebody has put there a female usb plug like like do you really think somebody will be charging something in there the usb connectors are not really suitable for riders because our bikes are shaking our bikes are running in a high revs so there is another thing that can go loose that I, I will need to search later in case the the charger is not working so this is something i absolutely but absolutely don't like another thing and I, I really think how it can be solved everything that can be solved it, it has something to do with with the light and and you know uh, the wireless charger being on always why you don't give us an opportunity to turn it off and anytime I want I'm not scientist and I'm not an electrician either but I think the wireless charger it's eating quite a lot of power so definitely that's something I don't want to have overnight there that's definitely when I when my phone is fully charged I would like to have an option to turn it off to you know to give a little bit of the room for my battery to fully charge to fully recover I don't know how much it eats but why not to have this kind of option and this is what I will actually do and this is why I will keep that on my bike until somebody will steal it from me uh, is that I will buy from Amazon a cable that has a switch it's gonna be something like a killer switch so over the night there is no blue light so when my phone is fully charged i will be able to you know turn it off and just just use it as a holder you know so i think a lot of things can be solved with with this cable being replaced or now me fixing it so guys this is pretty much it about the uh, the wireless charging head in case you have any questions feel free to write them into comments or follow me on a facebook or instagram i'm replying to everyone uh, these are my personal feelings and there's more hate than than really positive comments but i really wanted to you to be informed now let's talk very quickly about this usb charger um, why i don't like it uh, i just have had a very quick look and i wanted to really do a comparison uh, side by side because this is only $40 and I wanted to know if this would be really something that I, I might use and return this one but I don't think so the reason for that is and again I don't know what they've been thinking of and maybe I'm wrong again I'm not an electrician but what you see here is that there is a USB female I guess it is or male it's a male right anyway uh, so this is the USB and it's designed that it will go on your where it is so it's here um, so it, how it's designed you will just put it there and you will have the USB uh, charger now sorry if I'm wrong but it's designed that it will be on my bike 
And maybe I'm super wrong, but what if there will be a rain? I don't see any protector, any, any rubber that I can basically stick there. It's not a part of this, this packaging. And maybe it will not do anything wrong with my battery because there is some kind of protection, at, at least what it, this IP66 rating should be, probably. But when I will put there a cable and there is a water, it will not work. So what's the, the thing about it? I don't know and I don't want to find out. So I'm returning this because if somebody, I really don't believe there was a motorbike rider that was designing this. If it would, he would put some, some protection right over here in order to avoid the water going in. Or maybe I'm not a motorbiker and maybe I'm wrong. You tell me. So guys, this is it. Hopefully uh, useful information for you. As I said, if you like this kind of videos, if you like to find out a little bit more, subscribe to my channel, have the notifications on. But most importantly, most importantly, guys, remember, always have fun. <laughs>